Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. King Thistle is not well. Ooh. <coughs> Daddy, you've blown our cards over. I can't help it, Holly. I'm very ill. You've just got a cold, that's all. Uh, no. It's not just a cold. It feels worse than that. Daddy's a bit grumpy. Daddy's always grumpy when he's ill. Then why don't you use a little fairy magic to make me better? Darling, you know fairy magic can cure everything except the common cold. It's not a common cold. It's something serious and it needs sorting. All right. I'll try a little magic. Abracadabra! Oh, <laughs> now I'm sneezing and I've got a stuffed up nose. Sorry, but I told you magic wouldn't work. Perhaps you should see the elf doctor. Is that the elf doctor? No, the elf doctor. Yes, the king is ill. Okay, the sneezing and a stuffed up nose. I know, but he thinks it's serious. Thank you. Goodbye. You rest in bed, darling, and wait for the doctor. Hmm. The doctor is here. That's just the wise old elf. I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified doctor. Oh, I see. Well, doctor, I am not well. I keep sneezing, my nose is blocked up, and my head aches. I see. Could you open your mouth and stick your tongue out? Ah! Uh... Now look up, look down, and wiggle your feet. Hmm. Now flap your arms like a bird and whistle. <whistles> Interesting. At last! A thorough medical examination by a qualified doctor. What you have is a case of acute viral nasopharyngitis. Aha! You see? It is something bad. Otherwise known as the common cold. Is that all? No. You're grumpy as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, doctor, can you make me better? Uh, let me see what I've got. Ah, this should do the trick. Does it taste bad? Let's just say it doesn't taste good. I'm not having it. Daddy, we all have to have medicine when we're ill. Oh. Hmm, <coughs> 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 that's interesting. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, it does say cough mixture. <coughs> I know a recipe that can cure all kinds of colds, whether they be common or not. Expanding hands, itchy ears, hairy teeth, smelly noses, baldness. Ah, here it is, the common cold. I just need to find the right ingredients. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And un rond de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. 
You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh! Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Ugh. Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello. Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? I think that means yes. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Well done, Holly. Let's check our list. A dewdrop. Here, Nanny Plum. Slug slime. Here, Nanny Plum. Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr Frog. Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? Try and relax. That's it. Oh, we haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. Now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Ah, that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Is bad. <gasps> uh, uh, that did taste disgusting. Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh dear. What is it? Silly me, it's not a recipe for cold medicine after all.
It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> but I must say, Your Majesty, long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, poor Nanny Plum. Now I'm going to take personal charge of getting you better. <laughs> can, can we, we help, help too? Of course you can. The more, the merrier. <laughs> uh, uh, please, that's not necessary, Your Majesty. Oh, but it is. Achoo! 